At their very best, technologies of media are engines of empathy, right? Cinema, perhaps the pinnacle, the cathedral of communication technology, allows you to experience the world from another's point of view, ultimately at its best acting as a catalyst for you to be more compassionate and empathic towards the other. Now, looking towards the future, there's a lot of talk now about virtual reality. The Oculus Rift has finally captured the imagination of the public, and this is now becoming real. The idea of fully immersive, technologically mediated dream worlds, you know, rendered mind spaces where you literally inhabit another world, portals to another world. These are not virtual realities. These are going to be real virtualities. And what is this ultimately all about? Well, Terence McKenna says, these technologies will allow us to share our dreams with one another. Everybody will have essentially a cosmos of the imagination where they can build cathedrals of the mind. Imagine the intimacy that becomes possible when people meet and they say, hey, do you want to come visit my world? Do you want to see what it's like to be inside my my head. What kind of intimacy? It's like turning ourselves inside out. The metaphor used by Terence McKenna is that of the octopi. This is what becomes possible. The octopi transfigurates to merge with its environment. It literally wears its linguistic intent outside its skin. It wears its mind, its nervous system outside its skin. Its way of communicating is something that can be beheld. Language becomes something that can be visually beheld. Us humans, you know, grunts and voices and funny faces to try to imbue, to read what one another is thinking and feeling. Imagine if with virtual reality, we all become like octopi and wear our minds outside our skin. Imagine the intimacy that becomes possible. This is really what excites me about virtual reality, about these sacred modalities of intimacy exchange and shared intersubjectivity that become possible. Think about that.